Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew. Daily events worldwide, and we are on July 4th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Dew, looking at world weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, and space weather. Happy Independence Day, everybody in the United States. Looking here, the last 48 hours on our sun, we did yesterday have that solar flare, not Earth-directed, but we do have another fiery region that fired up in the incoming region there. Watching on that right-hand side, another quickly forming sunspot. Now, the one that produced the solar flare yesterday was a quickly forming sunspot as well. So we're going to be keeping an eye on those Earth-facing sunspots coming up. Looking here at, again, the event, plus another CME that shot out today from the same region. Another closer look at the incoming fiery region. And it is growing quickly the same way the other one did. So definitely keeping an eye on this situation unfolding as we are embarking on Solar Cycle 25. Looking here at another light, multi-spectrum. Looking at one, two, three, four sunspots and as well now five on the the disc that we are looking at another light here you can see the coronal holes coronal hole building a little bit northern hemisphere the one earth facing has since diminished now looking at iswa here this is the space prediction showing the solar flare from yesterday x-class solar flare just missed mercury luckily that was not an earth facing event that was a fast-moving X-Flare. Also looking at LASCO 2 and 3 here, showing the CME from today. Nothing too major. Real-time solar wind. We just had a spike. We were sitting at about 300 kilometers per second. It spiked right up to 338. We are expecting the coronal hole wind stream over the next 48 hours. And as well, see me from the other day. We're looking at the phi angle, which has been flip-flopping for the last 24 hours. Looking at our Schumann residence for today. And we are at a power of 26, quality of 7. Yesterday, we were at a power of 23, which I totally missed. Because for some reason, it was not loading. So yeah, here we are. Let's have a look at earthquakes last 24 hours. Two pretty sizable 6.0s here in Villanar, Chile. And one was reported last night, and then another one today. Many aftershocks throughout the region, 4.3s ranging to 4.7. As well, 4.2 there. Less, uh, San Antonio de la Cobros. 4.7 there to report Galapagos Islands. Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, quieting down. Some pretty big earthquakes around you, relieving some pressure. 5.6 there in Mexico, 4.0, or 40-kilometer depth. Also throughout the United States here today. Lake Valley, New Mexico, 3.1 as well. 10 Sleep, Wyoming, 4.1 east of Yellowstone. No major event or reaction in Yellowstone today. 3.7 as well. California still pretty quiet across the North American plate. Looking here, Hawaii, 3.3, largest report today, 33-kilometer depth. Kind of quieted down through Alaska, largest reported there, 3.9, Adak. Activity coming back to Japan, 4.4 there in Takahagi, Japan, 54-kilometer depth, as well as 4.4 in Nazi, Japan. 5.1 continuing there. Continuing action through Indonesia, the Banda Sea. And as well, 4.7 here to report Solomon Islands at 35 kilometer depth. 4.9 there, Port Vila, Vanuatu. And our deepest earthquake to report today, 4.3 Fiji Islands, 572 kilometer depth. 4.0 here to report in Kwamdo. China, as well as 4.2 here in Kuzdar, Pakistan, 
25 kilometer depth, 4.2 kil- uh, magnitude. South Sandwich Islands as well, seeing a 5.2, 35 kilometer depth. And the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, 4.6 Central Mid-Atlantic, 10 kilometer depth. So yeah, definitely the action came back to South America and spread right out into the Mid-Atlantic. Let's have a look at the last seven days for earthquakes. As you can see, activity coming back to the region for South America. And as I said, has spread through the Atlantic and down into the Antarctic. Still quiet through North American plate, in my opinion. Activity coming back to Japan. Quieting down here through Indonesia. Pretty quiet through the Eurasian plate as well. And we've had some pretty deep earthquakes as of late. So heads up, everybody. Stay aware and prepared. Just have a plan. Way too quiet, North America. Having a look at the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent volcanoes to update. Fuego in Guatemala. Semeru, Indonesia. Sabancaya in Peru. Reventador in Ecuador. Nevados de Chile in Colombia. Sangue in Ecuador. Swiss de Najima, Japan, Etna in Italy, Nevados de Ruos, Colombia, Cinnabung, Indonesia, Gadavor, Papua New Guinea, Ebico in Russia, Talika, Nicaragua. I think it's time for a volcanic activity report. Most likely will be coming tomorrow morning, so stay tuned to Daily Events Worldwide. Volcanic activity report, week 26, coming up. Having a look across North America, we still have the fires through BC. A couple of them have been extinguished since reported yesterday the Lytton fire is under control but there are more fires that are still breaking out across northern BC Saskatchewan seems to be under control Arizona still up in flames as well a couple wildfires through Colorado and Utah Oregon we do have one trop- two tropical storms to talk about. Tropical storm S- Elsa is still alive here, but still only a tropical depression. Barely a Category 1. Heading across Jamaica right now and will be making landfall. Florida Panhandle. Other tropical s- depression to talk about here. Number 7 is alive. Formed just east of the Philippines and is set to head straight into China and then most likely into a big collective system across Southeast Asia right now. Interesting things developing here, to say the least. Let's get to the five-day forecast brought to you by Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide and Meteo Earth. Starting out here, Calgary, Alberta, home base as we had some very cool temperatures move in here the last couple days after that big heat wave and storm from July 2nd. Our heat wave seems to be done, but it will be coming back after all this. Low pressure center coming out of just southern Alberta, so the rain's going to hang out for about three days off and on here through southern Alberta, dry across the Canadian prairies, and a big low developing for Ontario, and into northern Newfoundland. Cold temperatures are going to be swinging around with this low-pressure system that came out of the Hudson Bay. The Hudson Bay is still frozen, half frozen, and is still showing temperatures of minus one. So yeah, big changes will be coming when you get a low coming out of the Hudson Bay, very cold low. Having a look here through the United States, here is the projection for Tropical Storm Elsa, Looks like it's going to be making landfall right by our Dew Crew member and moderator, Dan Falcone. So heads up, my friend, my brother, Dew Crew member and moderator, Dan Falcone, can be making landfall right beside you, my friend. Overlooking western parts of the United States, watch for this low-pressure system to be grinding into Texas and Mexico border.
No major weather events to talk about through South America this week. Except for daily evaporation rains north of, north of the continent. Strong high pressure ridge here. Still thwarting a lot of low pressure systems northward in the Atlantic Ocean. Low pressure system coming into the UK and Ireland and is going to quickly spread northeastward across the eastern parts of Europe but it looks like it's going to go up and over Norway and then probably cruise back down into Russia but very warm temperatures coming out of Saudi Arabia and Africa northern Africa this week so watch for things to really start to intensify as we are in the summer months in the northern hemisphere looking at a lot of moisture. Five-day forecast shows a lot of rain here going through parts of Somalia and South Sudan. Cold temperatures moving into parts of South Africa. It is winter down there, but not everybody is used to, you know, just above freezing temperatures. And then here is our situation overlooking Southeast Asia. Got a big low pressure system here in the Indian Ocean. Just keeps spinning around and throwing wave after wave of moisture eastward. So India has been inundated with rain recently. And it's going to set to get worse here. Low pressure wave after wave daily heading into Myanmar. And the Tibetan Plateau low pressure system up there is just sucking it all in. And then you've got tropical depression number seven here coming into China, which will be joining the big mix. So definitely stay tuned to Morning Dew. This forecast is going to definitely intensify over the next five days. Also seeing the same conditions here through the Pacific, Central Pacific, some big lows developing. Things are really set to ramp up. We could have some doozy of a storms and typhoons heading into Southeast Asia this week. Overlooking Australia, low pressure system just south of you. Looks like it's going to send a wave of moisture into the high pressure ridge. And then it's going to quickly form a low pressure just off the coastline there. So that would be a wave cyclone. That's what they call that when a wave of moisture gets trapped and then battles with a high pressure, get a wave cyclone. Overlooking the Pacific, low pressure system grinding into Alaska, and then watch as that low pressure system from Russia heads straight to Alaska and is going to head straight southward. This could really change our jet stream in the long range forecast for the Northern Hemisphere. Maybe a little more summer-like but yeah, definitely dry and hot still across western United States and as well British Columbia this week. Maybe some rain in the long range, some relief coming. Going to leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern, pointing out all of these major systems spinning across our planet. Much love to everybody. I appreciate you all tuning in. Don't forget to smash that like button. Share with your friends and family from around the world. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning due. Bye-bye now. Please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.